I am here a weekend science project designed to trigger the natural curiosity of our children for science. This is about creating a simple magnetic train. So let's begin with our setup. I have here a bare copper wire that we are going to use in order to form the tunnel of the train. And I have here a double A battery that will act as the power source at the same time the train itself. Imagine that this is the train and to power this train I have here neodymium disc magnets that will force this train to move inside the tunnel. Some of the tools that we need uh, I have here a compass to identify the direction of the magnetic force but if you don't have a compass you can do it by trial and error. Anyway there are only four permutations of the way your magnet is arranged here because there are two possible cases here at the top and there are two possible cases here for the bottom it's north and south so using these four items we are now going to create our magnetic train so first we look around this bare copper wire around a pole the size is relatively bigger than the circumference of our battery so that there is room for movement we want this battery to float inside this tunnel as it moves, it will take you about 15 minutes to coil uh, some bare copper wire like this and then you can set it up this way. For comparison, I also created this bare aluminum wire just to see the two different materials. I was thinking of making it the same length but when I finally coil them, it's very obvious they are not of the same length. Now let's look at this battery. We are going to position it this way. Let's look at our train in relation to the tunnel. So this battery represents the train and we are going to put these magnets, these magnets at both ends. But before we do that, let us remember some lessons in magnetism. Since the wire is a bare copper wire, the electricity can flow. We are going to put here a metallic magnet and we'll put also a metallic magnet here. So the end result is we are completing a circuit. The electricity will flow from this end to that end and a magnetic field will be created. And using the right hand rule, if we coil this wire along the direction of my fingers, the direction of the magnet would be going to the direction of my thumb. So we'll have a magnetic field that's moving in this direction. So the force of the magnet would be going like this and then it will be forced that way. And we now say that this is the North Pole and this is the South Pole. So how are we going to set up the magnets so that we can push this train forward? Remember, same charge repels and opposite charge attracts. So what you want to create now here is if I have this magnet, if the two magnets are opposite each other's pole like this, my left hand magnet is being forced. So. So if I move my right hand towards the left hand magnet, there's a force in between that is pushing each other. And if initially I can position it here so that these two magnets, this magnet and this magnet are opposite, then there's an effect that they are going to oppose each other. But we want also a way so that the magnet here would be launched going this way. We must have something that is opposite here so that you can launch it going that way. And at the top, we need something that will go along with the direction of the magnet. So in that way, we are going to put this as the north and this must be the south. And then this one should, oops, I'm sorry. This magnet is so strong that I cannot just uh, separate them this way. I have to slide it like this so that the force is not along the magnetic force. Otherwise, I cannot separate that. So we want this one and this face of the magnet to be opposite each other so they repel. And then this one should be north so that it goes this way. And if this is north here, if this is north here, this must be south. This must also be south so that they repel each other. And then this must be the north. So let's look at the magnetic field. So the, the red one represents the north direction. I know it's south if I can attract the red. So I'm attracting the red. So I know this part is the south. That is the one that I want to put like this. Then I need the south here also, so I need 
this one is not the south because it attracts the white it must attract the red so I have now the south here so I'm going to put it like this if you are just going to look at this one the setup here is you have the north you have the south you have the south and you have the north the effect of that is <coughs> we're going to push this towards this direction so let's check if this works okay you can see that if I put it here it's being pushed look at that let's test our project now I asked the help of my daughter Maya to demonstrate to us the finished project ready inside get set go 